They strutted the catwalk. 20 finalists, each one competing for the coveted position of Mr. and Mrs. Albinism. Hundreds of Kenyans had gathered at the carnival grounds in Nairobi to witness the first ever beauty pageant of its kind, hosted by the Albinism Society of Kenya. The contestants donned different attire that included professional and creative wear. In attendance too to grace the occasion was Deputy President William Ruto, who assured of the government's commitment in catering for the fees of all children living with a condition in public primary and secondary schools. And I want to confirm to you that the government of Kenya will stand with you, will walk with you, and will make sure that your aspirations and your dreams are as valid as of those of every Kenyan. There are many people who think that mentioning the name albinism, beautiful and handsome, cannot be of the same sentence. But whatever we have witnessed today is a clear manifestation that no matter how you are born, given an opportunity, we too can make a difference. Ruto went on to reiterate the government's stand in ensuring equal employment opportunities for all Kenyans. 5% of all employment across government must take on board people with or persons with disability, including persons with albinism. Many albinos suffer stigma, alienation and even physical abuse due to the condition being associated with many negative misconceptions and superstitions. The purpose of the pageant is to develop confidence of the young people living with the condition and know they are beautifully and wonderfully made. Joy Kiruki Juma, K24. Baby, that's